close to afternoon quick video so as you guys know a little bit i said trump was gonna win the election right i think he did win the election okay so i don't want to get back into you know the, the, the bible chapter i read first kings 20 which i still think is true in the way it was read you know but you know, towards the end where ben haddad you know came back to haunt trump but anyway we talk about mail-in ballots okay um if in fact they do manage to um, you know, steal this election from Trump. I say it's actually Trump's own fault. You know, um, as president, you know, he should have done something about these mail-in ballots. Because from what I understand, we mail-in ballots. You know, and I'm just beginning to grasp, you know, the, the consequence of mail-in ballots because of what's going on now. How they're basically just, you know, raking in these miraculous votes for Biden. You know, just raking them in. You know, like, you know, you know. Uh, Georgia is at a 99% return for like for the past two days. <laughs> like for the past two days, this is 99%, but you know, Biden number just keep increasing. So, mail-in ballots, you know, I, I kept here, you know, you know, the Democrats, Trump, the post office batting over mail-in ballots, you know, earlier on the year. I'm like, you know, mail-in ballots. I didn't think about it too much, but I did ask a friend at work, um, I said, you know, he said that he, 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 you know, this is what he told me. This is at work, a friend at work. He said, you know, I'm not going to vote in the election, you know, I'm not going to vote in the election and um, but my mom got mad at me, took my ballot and said she'll vote for me. She filled it out and signed it for me and sent it off. And I'm like, hmm, okay. She, you know, she can do that. And he's like, hey, that's what she did. I myself, I got a mail-in ballot, you know, I got one here. And I looked at the ballot. I remember, I wish I didn't, I, I didn't toss it out, you know, because I'm not going to vote. But here's the thing with the mail-in ballot. I looked at the ballot, my name was not on there, on the ballot. Okay? I can't remember my name was not on the ballot. So I'm like, this is a blank piece of paper. I wish I kept it. All right, so, and then I'm just, you know, I was, I'm looking at the right results, you know, Biden no leads in Pennsylvania, Biden no leads in um, Georgia. <laughs> I'm like, clearly, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's the mailing ballots, of course, and, you know, it's, it's just an engineered fraud. Okay, and clearly they're still, you know, they're still, um, still in the election. You know, this is, um, you know, voter fraud using mail-in ballots and how was that done it's very simple the mail-in ballot that i got like i said I with my own two hands right and this is of course the way they all are it's just a blank form that's sent out just mailed out to people right just mailed out to people okay and there's no name on the the, the, the paper so i could mail 10 ballots if i wanted to to you know friends of mine you know you know you know if i'm if i'm a democratic democratic control state for example michigan or pennsylvania controlled by democrats right i could just say hey mail ten thousand ballots to this warehouse you know so and so and so right because you know there's no name on the ballot they could have mailed me ten ballots i think they mailed me um two you know but i tossed them i, I wish i kept them but i know i got at least two million ballots if i got one my point still stands in that i looked at the thing and i'm like you know my name is on the ballot okay so i'm looking at i just looked up how do they verify made in ballots how do you verify who is voting and you know this is the year 2020 right the year you know internet technology all these apps out there you know you know i mean high speed internet data going two and four gigs of data you know what i'm saying how do you verify made in ballots okay you verify made in ballot by a signature a signature no, what in the world? A, a signature, right? So, so let me get this straight. Somebody's counting votes and they sit there and they claim, this is what they claim, the system is this. It's verified electronically based on, like let's say, a driver license record or you know, something like that. So I guess what I'm assuming again, I don't, you know, does anybody see the process? Does anybody see them counting ballots, mailing ballots? Because nobody can observe them. So like, this is what I'm assuming should happen, right? The ballot come in, they put the ballot underneath an um, optical scanner, it scans the signature and, verif and looks for the signature in the system, in the state. Okay? Okay? No. Here's the problem with that. Number one, they, they didn't say that once the signature is found, that signature is marked as voted already in the system. It says, okay, this person has voted one time already. You know, it can no longer be used. Number one, right? It doesn't say that. It just says the signature is verified. All right. All right. Number two. 
Number two, back to number one. <laughs> okay, the signature is verified, right? And um, it's not it's not put in system as the person voted already. All right. Number three, back to number one. This signature is verified, but it doesn't say the person voted already. Matter of fact, right? Because of that, because of that, and, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm stuck on that number one. Because of that, right, you can vote as many times as you want by mail-in ballots. You can vote by mail-in ballots and then walk in and vote again. You can send in ten ballots because if it goes to ten different persons, right? Right, and somebody, if somebody's caught in the votes and you're under stress, right? You're under a lot of stress and they're caught in votes, right? They see the signature. If it comes back to them, you know, like two more ballots down the line again, it, it won't, you know, it won't be like, okay, I saw this before, you know, we're not, you know, we're not machines, right? So... This, this mail-in ballot thing is just, um, you know, just a way to perpetrate fraud. And as you can see, the election ended, you know, three days ago, and they're still counting votes. With 99% of the votes returning in Georgia, they're still counting votes. It's ridiculous. You know, I asked my, my friend, I said, you know, so how, how are they going to know that you didn't sign the thing? I mean, they're like, you know, I don't know. You know, anybody can get a ballot, sign the ballot, and send it in. They're not going to, they're not going to, you know... You know, um, toss the ballot. Really, I mean, think about. It. I mean, you're counting votes for the president. You're there counting the votes. You know, you, you don't tell them. You know, people that they can't observe you. They're blocking out the windows of the people. That, you know, people counting the votes. This is this is not a control system. The president should have, what he should have done was while he was in office, was made laws, proposed laws that, you know, what I'm saying, made sure that, just like with the army, I think with the army, I think with the army, right? Each person. Uh, you know, probably that's not true. I can't say that. But you know, used to, the army used to, you know, the they, they army traditionally votes with absentee ballots, right? But I think that each person, of course, you know, gets one ballot because you know it's the army. You know, okay, this, you know, it's very organized, right? This person, in, you know, in this company, this regime regiment has this many people. This and each person gets a ballot. You don't get a ballot. Let me know, right? But you just mail up ballots across the country, across the state. That's not controllable. And then it's it, you know each ballot can't be. You know, if I fill out ten ballots, if I fill out ten ballots and I do some, you know, and sign ten times, all they do is verify the signature is um is um you know is uh is good, is in the system. The signature is in the system, not that the signature has voted already. Okay. So you can um you know um I I could have filled that out and then went and voted again. You know, Trump should have, um, you know, the president, you know, if he's so concerned about voting by vote on um, mail of fraud, should have made a law that said, okay, um, each person, the ballot must be in each person's name, number one, must have a unique ID, scannable, right? You scan the ID, right? One ballot for one person. It comes in, you fill it out, right? They, you know, the ballot isn't linked to an a ID inside the system, a system or whatever they have. It comes in, they scan it, right? And it records, you know, you put in a scanner machine just as is. It comes in with a UPC code or whatever is on there, or an OCR code. You put it in a machine, and it reads the vote, and that's it. But way, the way it is, it's done by signature. That is that is a joke. That's why the Democrats wanted, um, you know, the um, the the the, the mail-in ballots. It ensures that they win, and that's why the Republicans were against it. But what they should have, what the Republicans should have done, you know, which is, um, you know, is cheating, you know, too, is just mail their own ballots, you know, in the you know to their own people. What I mean. Yeah, whatever. That's politics for you, man. That's um, <clears throat> that's uh, crazy that <clears throat> you have a system like that where in 2020 where people cannot send a fill out the document, send it in, and it's not verified. It, ca it can't be verified. It cannot be verified. Nothing is done like that. Nobody does any kind of business like that where you look at a signature, right? Just optical scan of the signature. Just look at it and then say, okay, that's it. You know, that's you. No, they want the signature. They want your driver's license, they want your address, they want, two, you know, two forms of ID, proof of address, but to vote for the most powerful person in the world, just a, a signature verification and that's it. And nothing is said about, it. okay, verify, verification and, and counted, and that can no longer be used anymore. Strange. So, Trump should have uh, made a law, you know, that set standards across the, the country. Instead of out there, you know, saying complaining about the mailing, you know, saying that it's fraud is fraud. It is fraud. Made a law that said, okay, you gotta have a standardized system across the country where, to you know, to to receive and count to mailing ballots. And I'm sure it would have passed. I'm sure it would have passed. But instead, he let them go for the mail out all these ballots. Just 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 throw you know ballots out there across the country. 
and anyone can fill them out. And then when the ballots come in, you're going to tell people they can't observe you counting the ballots. Because it's up to the person, the person that's counting the ballots, it's up to their, it's their discretion whether or not they're going to count that ballot. It's that person, that individual. Even if the, uh, the machine said, you know, um, you know, I can't find the signature, that person can decide because they're not being watched to count the ballot. Anyway, so I do believe that the passage I read, 1 Kings 20, where it talks about ben was def was defeated by the, um, the king of Israel. But the king of Israel spared his life and he came back. The prophet said to him, because he spared his life, it's going to be his life for your life, his people for your people, right? And I think we've seen that now where, you know, where ben had ben had Biden did lose, but he's come back with a vengeance, you know, with Tommy, you know, these mailing ballots and look like, you know, you know, they're on the way to stealing the election. You know, that's my opinion. So, Jesus Christ is Lord and have a good day.